Hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is the part 10b and it's the continuation of my part 10a video. So if you guys have not yet watched the part 10a video, I recommend you to watch that first because without watching that, you this this video will be totally uh, pointless. You, you will not understand this video at all. So first make sure that you watch the, the previous video and then you can continue watching this video. So now comes the next part of the code where I'll also have to uh, work on with the images that has to be shown on this. Okay. So for doing the graphical part, I'm going to make uh, two separate functions, one for retracting and one for uh, expanding. Okay. So the first function I'm going to call it as this, this function is going to deal with GUI for expanding. Okay, so this function is going to work with the GUI adjustments for expanding. So now when I'm expanding this, I want only the text to be shown. I don't want any uh, images to be shown inside this. Okay, so what I'm going to say is for everything here, I'm, I'm going to take each and every button one by one. So this is the first is my books tab button, borrowers tab button, transaction tab button. Like this, I'm going to take each and every button here and I'm going to write its text inside this programmatically. Okay, so let's see how it is done. So first I'll take the books tab button, books tab button dot text equals, I'm going to write the text. Okay, so, so the text here will be books. In the same way, I will write the code for the other buttons also. So right now I have got all the uh, text as set up. Now, before I proceed with the further code, I'll just show you how you can be importing the pictures for uh, each each of these uh, buttons, okay? Okay, so now to be adding an image for this button, what I'll do is I'll click on this button and I will go to the image property, okay? Image, and I'm going to select this image and here for the books, I have already imported that. So I'm, I'm going to select books. So in the same way, I'm going to be uh, adding images for the, uh, for the remaining buttons. Okay. And once now I have all the images here and you can see that the images are in the center, but I wanted to come in the left. So what I'll do is I'll select all these tabs together. Sorry, all these buttons together and I'll go to this property called as image align. So in, right now it's in middle center. I'll change it to left. Okay, so you can see that all the images have been snipped down into the left. So now what I'll do is I'll go to the program. So if you can see whenever this is expanded, I don't want any images to come here. But whenever this is uh, retracted, I want the images to come, but I don't want any text to come. So this is what I'm going to program right now. So here I have uh, made sure that the text has come when in this expand sliding panel GUI method. So now I have to make sure that um, these images are not going to come. So what I'll do is I'm going to take each and every button and I'm going to change its image property. So let me do that. First I'll do the books tab button dot image equals null. Okay. So what this will do is it will uh, disable the image for the books panel so that this image will not be there. In the same way, I'm going to remove the images of the remaining tabs as well by the same kind of syntax. Okay. So now I'm having all the uh, images of the tabs to be set as null. So now comes the next question. Uh, what do you do when this tab has to be retracted? Okay. So let me write a similar function. Okay. So I first I'll just copy paste this code because even that is going to be almost similar though. It's not exactly the similar. Okay. It's going to be retract sliding panel GUI. Okay. So when I'm retracting the sliding panel, I don't want the text to be there, but I want the images to be there. So I'll make all the text as null that can be done by just erasing out whatever the text was there. Okay. So now comes the question. How can you programmatically make these icons to be uh, uh, to be made visible right now i have just gone to the properties and changed it here okay so now programmatically if i want to do this you have to understand some basic file structure if you can go to your solution explorer and uh, if you can click on this properties here okay you click on properties and you you just keep expanding all these things 
you can see that you have all your resources that is your about button books button borrows button all these buttons are actually uh, imported into your project and that is linked now those buttons will come there only if you are going to import the picture or whatever is your uh, image uh, when you import it okay only if you are going to do it in this particular way i'll just show it to you if you are going to image here only if you are going to import it in this technique that's creating this and then clicking on import and then importing it from wherever it is in your computer only if you do it in this method those uh, pictures whatever is there it is going to be linked into your project if you're going to take it from a local resource like this it's not going to work okay you you obviously can import the pictures but you cannot link it into this um, in, into your project by your uh, solution explorer like like inside this link will not be made so it is very important to import the picture in the right method okay so i'm going to say it as properties dot resources dot it is books so i'm going to say books okay so the explanation for this is in the solution explorer this this file can be present inside your properties and your resources and here is your uh, imported files okay so that is why uh, this code is written in this method so I'll, i will go ahead and write the code for the remaining part as well okay so right now we have uh, modified all of these uh, settings okay so once we have done with this okay so now we have finished with this expand uh, sliding panel i'll just save this right now okay so next what we'll do is we will just uh, call this function once our uh, okay now after the expansion is done we'll have to make this graphical adjustments now so i'm i'm going to call this function here okay i'm i'm going to call this as uh, okay exp expand uh, expand sliding panel uh, gui is here and also here instead of giving it right here i am going to give it inside this uh, toggle button itself because first itself i want the modifications to happen so i'm i'm going to call it as retract sliding panel gui okay so basically what i've done is i've just called these two uh, functions which we have just made okay i'll just close this function okay now so so these two functions i have called it in the appropriate places within uh, within this part of the code so now let us just try this out okay so initially uh, we do have this because we have not modified so now if you see that it is expanded okay and uh, there is no logo i mean so there is no icons and when i click on this the icons are there okay however you can also see that uh, these icons are not aligned properly you can add some extra margin and also al align this thing there is nothing wrong in that okay so okay so now initially when uh, the code starts we have all this mess here right so to avoid that what we'll do is we will go to the app body method here okay uh, we are going to do some initializations so i am i'm going to say it as initialize i'm just going to comment this okay so here are some in initializations for this uh, for the sliding panel first thing is i am going to make sure that when the app is opened the sliding panel is exp is expanded so i am going to take this variable and i am going to say that it's true because initially i am assuming that it is expanded and just because it is expanded I want all the GUI uh, modifications for this expansion to be done. So I'm going to say this this method here has to work. Okay. GUI. So now if you see when you start up, you have a very clear panel. All that mess is not there. And we are contracting and expanding okay so this is exactly what we wanted now let us work on this buttons images okay so when it is expanded i want the left side arrow marks to come and when it is contracted i want the right side arrow, uh, or when it is already retracted i want the right side arrow marks to come so what i'll do is i will go to the um, expanded thing so once the expansion is done when it is in the expanded state we want the uh, sliding panel toggle button Oops. sliding panel toggle button dot image okay i want this image to be equal to the left side uh, image okay so I'll, I'll just go and import it quickly 
that's done by going to your image and remember the right method to import is by using this thing here okay so here I am going to import the right arrow and I will also import the left arrow okay so the left arrow is what has to be there so inside the program what I'll say if when it is expanded uh, it has to be image has to be equal to properties properties dot resources dot uh, left arrow arrows okay and the same thing here I'll just copy this when it is retracted uh, that is when the retracting code is done we need this to be our right arrows okay so let us just see how this thing works out so if you can see right now we have our uh, left arrow here I click on this it comes left and I click on this it goes right okay so this is pretty much it now let us work on the alignment of these images okay so in, in, in order to do that I have selected all these buttons and I have gone to this property called as padding and I have changed the first value here as 20 or if you expand this you can see that the left padding is 20 so that's going to give it some extra space here so that it is going to adjust so now let's see the finally how it looks like so now when I start it it's right there and here it's working as expected right so this is what we wanted so if you if you want this this thing to load out a little bit more later what you can do is you can go to the app body here and instead of calling your uh, retract sliding GUI here okay I'll copy this and as of now I'll just comment this out and here inside this retracting uh, section of the timer I'll paste this okay so it's it's the same thing but uh, what we are going to do is we are going to change the images a little bit later so now if you see it's like a little bit more uh, you know like the text has been condensed into this okay so you you get that kind of an effect and again if you if you want the sliding panel to be a little bit more faster what you do is you click on your sliding panel timer you go to this 50 and you can reduce it i'm going to keep it as let me try 10 okay So this looks faster and better. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you for watching till the end of this video and I hope you guys have found it useful. Make sure that you go through the video once more and try to make your uh, mind clear about how this thing is and learn the concept and any doubts you have please feel free to comment them below. And if you like this video please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed and do not forget to share this video to your other friends as well. So see you guys in the next video. Bye again.